What's up guys? In this video we're making some serious frame additions to the off-road go-kart. So the first thing we're going to be doing is taking off our engine mounts so we can bolts so we can see how bad this mount is. We'll also have to take the chain and stuff off, but first we'll yank these bolts out. All right, so now everything's unbolted, so we're going to try to lift this thing up. Hey right, guys, this is some beautiful stuff right here. I love that, and that looks real good. This is just insane. All right, so now that the engine's out, before we take all the suspension stuff off of it, we're gonna do like some additions to the frame. One of those is we had this seat laying around, so we wanna make this attached to the frame. So what we'll do is we'll just do a pipe that comes up here, has two 90 degree bends, it goes in, and we'll probably angle it so it has a better position. Let's start bending it up. All right, so the entire back of the seat is 30 inches. So I marked out from here to there, 30 inches. So then we'll do a 90 there and a 90 there. So I'm, we're thinking of more of a 45. That way we can tie it into these bars here. That way our seat has a little lean on it too. So we cut this so that it would slide right into here. And that way we did bolt our seat onto this bar we're making. All right, so here's our bar on there. All, uh, all grind it down and fit to size. Um, so what we'll do is we'll mock our seat up on there, and if it looks good, we'll tack her up. Okay, she's all welded up. And the bar actually is a pretty nice addition. It makes it look less just kind of like a tray you're sitting in and more almost like it has a body. Yeah, we might, we might add a little kind of bar here or something like that just so we can kind of tie in with this bar because there's nothing really in the back here. But we'll see. All right, so here we are sitting in our seat. A little bit of sway back, but hey, whatever. We'll do a, we'll put the wood in here and then we'll bolt it in. All right, so in order to mount that, this wood that we're gonna put under here to this bar, we're gonna just rob these right here. We got two, so we'll do one on each side. All right, so here's those brackets. Probably the best welds this cart's ever seen. And I'm not good at all, so. <laughs> so we're gonna use some more of this pipe to make a piece that angles from here and then down here. 
and that's what we're doing right now. All right, so we're thinking like something like this. I kind of, we're, I'm like, I'm digging this a lot. It's looking, it, it makes it, it's making it look more like a mini, miniature dune buggy, really. So yeah, I think we'll chop it up and notch it up and weld her on. All right, so we just cut that. Let's see what we gotta do. So it looks like we gotta cut this end about an inch. All right, guys. So here it is. It's like, it's looking way better with that. It's totally looking like more of a dune buggy, and it's gonna look even better with the seat in it. Oh yeah. So. chain wheel time for the CJ wheel yeah we got this wheel that came off our CJ7 we're doing a restoration project on and it'll fit quite nicely on there all right so the front tires are off this is a little mushroomed so we had to grind it down a little bit um, so I think I think the next thing we're gonna do is work on getting our wheel so when this is straight We want our wheel to be straight. Oh God. All right. That's straight. We might have some gap welding to do, but we'll figure it out. Still a little bit of hodgepodge on the wheel right here. All right, so the entire front piece is totally off. We can't take these off because of this, um, but oh my God. We have some uh, cleaning up to do. But aside from that, Joseph's working on getting the steering wheel cut out. That way it kind of looks like a real wheel, more or less. All right, so now what we're doing is Joe's still cutting that off and we're wrenching on this to try to uh, get the control arms off so we can get this rear axle out of here. All right, well, there we go. It's off. All right, so the next thing we're doing here is getting rid of all of this disgustingness. I have a new engine plate, which is right there. And what we're gonna be doing is just cutting off all of this and using these pipes. So I'll just put new pipes on and put a new engine plate on. Look at this. It's like a city out here. Of all the bolts and stuff. Just look at, look at this. That's just incredible. So all this will have to remake.
good idea. We'll get it out. Phase, we're just doing a bunch of metal fixing, just trying to, you know, strengthen up some wheels and all that. Just really make it look a little bit better and just make it stronger. Still got some work to be like here. But I'm really just trying to shoot some weld in there. Alright guys, so we were thinking about this and I was editing and I already have a lot of footage of just this back section just because of all the work involved. So we're going to split this up into multiple parts. The main reason for that being, <laughs> we're putting a 420cc Predator on this thing because, I mean, everyone was saying in the first video of this thing that it really needs a bigger engine. And now that we're given the velocity opportunity, we built this yard cart with the 420. But as we said, it's a little too big of an engine for it to begin with. So we'll just put a Predator on this and then we'll end up putting the 420 on this thing and it, it, it's gonna be quite the beast. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely reassemble it because in the next part what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to mount the 420. We're also gonna have to mount the jack shaft and everything. In order to figure out where to mount everything, the rear axle needs to be in because it's, it's really important that we get the sprocket on the axle and the jack shaft lined up. All right, so we very temporarily like tightened everything down in the front. I mean, we're gonna have to go over this thing completely again, and like, there's still like some major cleaning up we have to do. But I mean, that's all just gonna take a while, and we'll probably do that before paint. Um, so all we have to do now is throw the back axle on. All right, so just for perspective, you can see how giant this thing actually is. I mean, it's taking off the entire truck bed. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're splitting this into two parts because really, like, we already did a lot of work to this thing, and there's a lot more to go, especially with mounting the 420 and stuff. But that'll be a really cool video, so if you want to see that in the future, be sure to subscribe.